Fernandez from the Película in Puerto Rico. It is always an honor and a pleasure to get to talk to you guys about Cobra Kai. I will be directing questions individually because we're still doing the virtual thing. So, Ralph, do you got some writers for this show, and you've known this because this is not obviously not the first season, but I wonder if they still manage to surprise you, or do you show up and look like, oh, today on the side, sure, dog cage, and um, you, it doesn't phase you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I wonder if they, they still surprise you. <laughs> I think that um, uh, the, the surprises, you know, I always say this, getting a new script is like it's Christmas morning, you know, it's like, let's see what's in this present. And uh, sometimes it's exactly what I always wanted, and other times it's like, I have no use for this. And sometimes it's just a box. <laughs> sometimes it's just There's an empty box. It. No, it, um, you know, we're teed up for the basic, you know, we have conversations throughout of what the arc of, of the characters are, but... You know, sometimes I just like you know my jaw drops and this cer certain stuff in this and this section of um, season six. These these five episodes that are dropping now that were just like wow, they're gonna go here with this. And I see, you know, you it sets up for what the payoff is gonna be. You know, but I, it's uh, it's nice to be surprised as long as it feels to me within the truth and honesty of the character. And sometimes we debate about that, but we find it together, you know, and I think is the same as is for Billy. Mm -hmm. So William, uh, given that at this point, you've gotten to sort of uh, experiment with like, you know, extreme Johnny, like the essence of what we remember of Johnny. And now there's some growth. But I mean, I wonder, and now you sort of have to balance it out. Like they're both exist at the same time. So yeah. I wonder if that's a challenge because you got to hold on to what is true, but then sort of where you are in the story. Is that sort of a new challenge with the character? Yeah, I would it's say. definitely an evolution. I mean, um, he, he, yeah, I, I don't know if it's, a, yeah, it's a challenge, I guess. You know, it's just another layer. I mean, I think Johnny Raw was season one and he was just, uh, you know, just a broken open vessel. and. Um, now he's a result of all the events that have happened in the last few years with these kids and with LaRusso, with Crease and everything. Um, and he's maturing and he's growing forward, you know, and, um, you know, he's always had in my, my, the way, I mean, the only way I could play him ever, even when we did the movie was at the end when he hands Daniel a trophy and says, you're all right, LaRusso. He always had a good heart. He always had good intentions. He was just misguided. Um, and he's a little bit of a, an artifact stuck in the eighties in the show, which I really love. And I'm always, you know, I'm always a little bit like, ah, let's let's not lose any of that, you know. Keep, uh, it's nice his his perspective. So he's slowly kind of by osmosis coming into the new, the new day. And um, but he's keeping his roots and doesn't lose sight of that and who his core is. So yeah, no, as an actor, it's great to play that. I mean, a, to play a character that's growing and changing, good or bad, is what it's all about. Um, and uh, I love how no, it I serves mean, the story more than anything. Some yeah, I was going to say, sometimes he's wish fulfillment for us, but you keep his humanity. So uh, that's what makes your yes. performance yeah, impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean sometimes we want him to do something, but if it doesn't feel real, then it's just cheap. And it's never cheap with yeah. you. So yeah. appreciate what you do always. So, Ralph, um, have, has your attitude always been sort of similar to Daniel's in sort, instead of the legacy of Pat? With the, You know what I mean? Because they tackle Miyagi and we find some things out. And obviously, your character has to grapple with that. But I wonder if. It's if it's similar, you know, if you when you think of Pat and what you do with the show and all that sort of stuff, if, if there's a similarity between how Daniel feels and you feel, and what what do you think Pat would make of a show? Or what 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 would what would he say? Well, I think uh, to answer the latter part of your question, I think he would be thrilled with with, with what's happened, and um, and we all believe that he has a hand in it in some way. He certainly did because he uh -huh. helped create the magic of that character, and without. Without Mr. Miyagi in that original film, I don't know if it, you know, if it explodes the way it did and stays. He was the secret sauce, the, the magic of that of that original movie and 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 the franchise. But he, I think there are similarities, you know, because I mean, Daniel Russo has such great respect for Miyagi to a point he he, uh, you know, um, glorifies everything. He builds it up maybe bigger than than it is and that's what kind of interesting with this season when he starts to find out things that he didn't know he's trying to come to grips with why he withhold 
would withhold anything and what he was he protecting and you can't get those answers at when someone is no longer there so it's about how you process that and moving forward um, myself and Pat we you know there was nothing but mutual respect uh, there we were we were close but not close to the point where you know we spoke every week and I knew everything about him and he knew everything about me I mean we have everyone has their their personal lives and 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 or their demons and pros and cons of who they are but um um so there i guess there are some mirrored similarities but uh always the underscore is just respect and um and just uh grateful uh to have known him and worked with him and and i think uh daniel russo would say the same thing all right so my time is up it's been a pleasure talking to you guys it's great have to a see great you day. man, Jim, man thanks so much bye bye